Something reminds me of Cass Elliot, but not the voice. I two parts of the park as we take our move on to another sidewalk. I think probably for these silent spots we should just fill jazz music in between. I had that thought earlier in my in my head earlier in the day and it took me 16 minutes to finally figure out that I should probably do it. During nine o'clock, some more multicolored lights. For those of you wondering why I'm actually going the entire, you know, every square inch of this park just to get the lights. Yeah, no particular reason whatsoever except to, you know, show you around this place. Show you how in depth these lights, this light display has got. Because the last time I remember seeing the lights in, in the park, I don't think they were this, you know, this vast a, a variety. Last time I was here for New Year's was only a couple of years ago. Green light. It's kind of remind you of palm trees now that I'm looking at them right up close and personal. Just have this palmy, you know, um, flavor to them. <laughs> the screen is freezing up as it's just about to hit 8 p.m. I was going to go out earlier in the week to get the lights, although I've been suffering from sickness in the past week, almost seven, eight days, uh, head cold, and everyone around me has been the wind gusting vastly. I wonder how many times these lights are knocked down because of the wind. It's been a warmer winter than usual here. So we've had a couple 50 degree days. There's one that's passed. I want to say Tuesday. It was supposed to be 48 today, but the, you know, the temperature readings were down a couple of degrees. I'll stop there. This is probably, lighting wise, probably my favorite spot at the park from just first glance, really, walking through.
think I'm doing my best Marv Albert impersonation <laughs> on this walkthrough. On everybody, Marv Albert here. Replaces the radio disc jockey voice I have whenever I'm sick. I got this and one more corner and should be done for the evening, really. Be a long walk back to the house. Battle of the Bands was earlier on, actually it's still going on. Day Dizzle, the first participant in it. You've probably seen a couple of videos of uh, you know some of his new hits. He's got an album out right now, The Unconscious theory, which he forgot to plug at the Battle of the Bands, but so, Mr. Tay Dizzle is his YouTube name. Okay. Thought I was walking up. Well, oh, there's some. And this corner light kind of wraps up what we see as far as Some uh, looks like plastic. If we had the actual camera light on, we could show you a give you a better view. Actually, there were a couple of things I wanted to show you. There were some snowmen that are not lit up, they've been sitting at one of the bench is the, uh, the sets of benches in the middle of the park. We're heading back that way and some more shots of lights. Again, this is just spare of the moment. Wanted to get these uh, lights to show them off just before January 2nd, or whenever they take them down, or if they shut them off during the nighttime. Well, uh, you know, certainly this would be, I think, your one and only look see into the, uh, the Christmas display here in straighter if you lived here once before and you moved away giving you the golden opportunity to check out what they had in store what they've got showing this year As we go back, we'll show you what the, uh, we come towards these snowmen and trees that weren't used. That's a, uh, if you could see it. There we are, that's a better look. Uh, plywood for bonfire. Tay and his friend were, are out here most cold nights and they got a fire and maybe some food or whatever set for them. There's, there's some of the unused lights. For whatever reason, they were uh, you know, indisposed. I think I just heard a juggalo in the background. Whoop whoop. At least with the ribbon. Go underneath.
underneath here as the picnic tables are all stacked up for the winter up until spring when everything should be moving again another wreath and lighting aren't up on the edge tables, both sets underneath in the middle of the park have the same display. We will take you to near the flag. It is backwards, but just to give you an idea on what it looks like in the pitch black dark in the middle of the evening. Red and white. And I don't think we actually got the shots of the two trees over there. I'm forgetting a lot of things. It's cold. That's what happens to you. Pretty soon we'll be signing off. There's one more thing to show. We'll go down here. And we'll go to where to that other set. It's normally the smokers table. Pot smokers. Other kinds of smokers. If this was time well spent, well I'd have to tell you get a life, but the smoker's table, which has lights decorated on its edges. And that's going to read Lions Club International. Red, white, and blue. And across that. side goes up all right well that's the lion's table that's the picnic tables in here which are never stacked up and with about a minute to go on the tape, that just about covers it. We've gone a full half hour, and if I wasted your time accordingly, well, good job. And, you know, thank you for sticking around, even if the commentary was a little bit bland or bad or whatever. You get a good shot of down this street. If it were daytime, I'd probably tell you which street it was, but emptiness. The vast void of emptiness on and blurriness. Come on. There we go. On New Year's Eve. Heading into Sunday, January 1st. First day of 2012. As you get one more look on this side of the park. I figured this was such an amazing display. I'd show it to you guys on YouTube and in all its beauty and, you know, waste of breath. Now it's time to go home and, well, watch Dick Clark and his ball drop, and hopefully it's not as disgusting as Justin Bieber and his ball drops.
It's an inside joke made up by my girlfriend's mom. All right. So I'll give you one more look-see and zoom in form. Scare Moxley, hoping that you had a great Christmas and that your 2012 will be just as good, if not better, than your 2011. So, from the city park at Streeter, 